Alright, before we get to these last, these, these last four or five cars we have, we are going to review. We have three random ones we want to show off. And I already have, but I have variants of each other. But you already see from here, we have like those kind of characters. But before that, we found Taco, Fishtail, Fresh Spent Legacy Cruise, Fishtail, or Superfly, and Sealer. So, yeah, we'll talk about, throw Fishtail out, throw Sigler, Superfly out, throw out Fresh Spent Legacy Cruise. Let's look into these guys. Uh, there's the regular chick, with the China chick, yeah, China chick. China chick, China chick, uh, plastic China chick from the car tree, and Max Chanel and Restless McQueen. Now you might be wondering why I bring out Restless McQueen and Max Chanel and these three chicks. Well, I told, I told you guys about this in the last review, but recently I got like a whole heap of cars. So right now we have five so far. So we did two, now we're going to do five, fake the four, we're going to conclude nine cars. So, or is it ten? Because, consider, because Wheel of Clock is a random car, but he still is new to me. I still consider him a tenth car. So we're going to be opening like ten cars for this round of collection cars, or like dice, cast cars. So we're gonna be gonna be reviewing Silver Chick Hicks, Nigel Gears Lula Flames, and we'll not review this one. We're gonna be opening Rusty's Light McQueen. It is new packaging and it's new card back. So I just really just wanted to get this one just for the for the laws. Along with self one else you have my know about. If you see my videos for a long time. So yeah. We'll be opening up these three, and you'll be surprised who I got for the last two videos, because I'll be splitting the last four up. So yeah, let's open these boys up, and let's start with Bulbous One. Alright. Alright, she's like, oh please, some languages right now. Let's let you clean out. Now the newer one's out. Now you wait. Sorry about that noise. Win. Alright, got Dash in there. Or is it Nitro Gears with the Flames out? I want to play up more flame cars like the Extreme Racers, the Track Racers, but. You know me, I don't really, really like to get too much stuff out. And besides, I don't really want to go for my, my car, just look for ones I which have a lot of these and particular characters. Now we got so much of kicks out. Alright. I feel like these are the cars I've tried out. Apart from Tyler and Hicks, so... We're going to be using their counterparts, and when I mean counterparts, I'm taking them just there. Just this Thailand version. Nothing more than that. Alright. Alright. I'm still going to bring out these guys as well. Like, the chicken skinner first I have. I'm not going to bring out the one with the heads of the seal. You know how my relationship is with that. Or if you don't really put it this way, I don't love him. He's not really part of the series at all. Period. Anyway, here's Rusty. It's like me. He feels really different from the regular Lemon King. Possibly because he has better details and textured. Rusty's really different. Everything's a lot different about him. Even the expressions, the eyes are not detailed on this one. And uh, Rusty, you think it looks different. On the Thai China version, you know, has been released in China, I mean Thailand for ever until Vietnam came along and it kind of changed him a little bit. Anyway, the wheels, the wheel, the rims are a little bit more yellow. Or this one is a bit yellow because it's 
because more things. Back, nothing much, just laying back. The, the screams are a little more dark. <laughs> Mostly nothing different changed with him. There is something that changed as Nigel Gears with Flames. Now, nothing really much, just from, is that England or like, United Kingdom? Because if it's the United Kingdom, I don't think he's from anywhere from not around those parts or anything like that. I'm pretty sure he's from England because it's the is he? Excuse me. Anyway, because you know he speaks in like the game that's based on him or all the Grand Prix cars and such. And he speaks like England, so he kind of I think he is from England. So anyway, the flames are not like anything else. I mean, I think all the others might have different flames as well. But this is the only first flame burnout car, typically. As you know, if if you were to tell this from any, anyone else, and just tell you that this is a speed racing car, and tell you no, it's uh, it's when Nigel Gearsley burns out. See, the expression doesn't look like he's excited or something. Speaking of which, the expression looks really, really bad. Possibly because he's burned out and he's like drifting on one of his sides. And he like crashes it to one of those same places where Carlo did. His brushes look really different. Nothing much with himself. Then we look into something I'd call a masterpiece Silver Chick Hicks. Now, Silver Chick Hicks. He's really reflective. I don't want to show off my face that much. Because of how reflective this is. His sponsor at that time is Hostile Takeover Bank. And he's basically a silver chick hex. Just nothing changes. Just, well, leaves kind of changed every time. Let me take a look at the regular one. Yeah, that definitely changed every, over time. I'm not sure if I want to use this in my series because, you know, it's not based on this character. So I may not use it if, you know, it's a race car. It's supposed to be used in races and cars one, but I don't see anything like this in the cars franchise. In fact, I don't think Jason Storm has this. I mean, if I were to put him in this series apart from Chick Hicks, that would work out because, you know, he's from Car Street, but no, he's not from that. And soon enough, we're going to get, like, Madel Camino and, like, Tim Trentless, so... Tip Trentless would fit in as well. As well, we do actually need another Tim Trentless. Because we haven't got any other Tim Tim Trentlesses until like 2018 when we got him in the pack with like with Mayo Flight and Bolt. First one. Ugh. Sorry. It's the evening as well. So I, I don't know why I'm so tired at the moment. Anyway, I don't want to go through all the continuity puzzles because if we were to do that, it would take hours. It would take a whole hour. I don't even want to go through all the continuity puzzles over this. That's why I don't do it for any of my Chick Hicks reviews. Especially characters like him. I don't review plastic cars, but I still use them in my series. Anyway, apart from like bad complaints, I really, really like the Silver Racer. Shirt has his bad details. But he does have a good win for classified weird classifieds like this. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. This is the chick is from before. This is the chick is from the series. The silver chick is the spot. His, his enough is like super small. Everything else looks like really big. Like. I don't know why I wanted to get him. Possibly because I just wanted to get into the new stuff. <sighs> so, yeah. Nothing much about these cars. The most comparable is the Thailand Chick Hicks. They're really not good. Comparisons are these. But, 
all today. I think you guys so much for watching. I'll get some more interesting things are for these two and for this. Variants are not really what I want, but I might use this for my series soon. But anyway, that's all for today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is Cars Jan and saying peace.